Good morning, everybody. Oh, that was a bit croaky, wasn't it? I haven't spoke to anybody yet. You're the first people I'm speaking to this morning because I just got up like about half an hour ago and I'm just like quickly getting out the door because I've got to go and do a little bit of work this morning. And um, it's a lovely, another lovely day here in the UK. I'm really interested to know where you guys all are. I was just thinking this morning, like, do we all get the same sort of problem? Like, at the moment in Kent and probably the majority of the country, our cars get really dusty because there's like no um, no rain and stuff washing them off. And I was just thinking I probably will get my car washed today. And um, do you guys have that sort of thing? And, and do you wash your own cars or do you go and take it somewhere that they wash it for you? Um, here we do a bit of both, but this it's so cheap to go and get your car washed. It's about, um, for me, it's six pounds, which I think, uh, is that about eight dollars? Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, something like that. The pound's gone a bit weird, isn't it, at the minute? Um, so you might as well go and get them to do it. You know, you sit in your car, drive through, there you go. So um, anyway, me rambling on this morning. Yes, yeah, so I've got a bit of work to do. Uh, I'm going to see mum today, which will be really nice. She's going to come and help me around the house. And of course, the lovely Stacey, who's just oh, brilliant right now. She's just so lovely and she's just so hyped up because she's going to be her best friend's matron of honour at her wedding in just a couple of weeks, really. So it'd be nice to see her and have a catch up, chat all about the wedding and things. So, yeah. Um, the kids are in bed, left them in bed. So we had a really long day yesterday, which they loved. And uh, I put a bit of fake tan on, I don't know if you can tell. It's amazing what that does. Love the old uh, central pace, good stuff. And in fact, I have hardly any makeup on. Just put a little bit of um, what do you call it? Mineral, mineral makeup stuff on my cheeks, and the rest is just me, just as I am. So sometimes I wonder, should I make more of an effort? Should I be one of the people that puts loads of makeup on? So when I do, I was sort of think, oh, yeah, that looks quite nice. But um, I don't know about just during the day. Sometimes can look a bit too much, can't it? Although that said, I would never go out without no makeup. I wish I was that brave. But I think when I've got like hay fever, I've had a cry or something, there's nothing on my eyes. Oh, it looks horrid. Anyway, so come along, see what's going on for the day. And don't forget to leave me your comments. Let me know where you are, if you get a dusty car, if you wash it. I know it's really weird, random things that I think about, but yeah. Welcome to my brain. Oh, I've just got to share with you quickly. I went on to Twitter last night to mention about EastEnders. I actually managed to get through an episode of EastEnders without crying, which was amazing. And somebody replied on there, and their Twitter handle was called um, ba A Bag of Unicorn Farts. And I thought that was absolutely incredible. So I went to check them out, and it actually is a business where they sell unicorn farts and what they actually are is a bag of you call them cotton candy in the states we call it um i've forgotten oh my god uh candy floss in this country and uh and you can get that in in a bag so you open it and of course it smells all nice and it's all fluffy and i just thought what a brilliant idea and it actually is a genuine business so go over to twitter if you're a twitter follower and check them out and check me out at louise usher um Good morning, Mr. Policeman. I was not doing anything illegal there, which I wasn't, not touching my phone. Um, okay, right, signing out for now. See you in a bit. So, you guys, I have just written a blog post from the heart, which was very deep and meaningful. Um, thoroughly enjoyed, what's that funny noise in my car? Thoroughly enjoyed writing it, and I've popped it over on my Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash Louise Usher coach. I kind of want to change that bit because those are the days when I used to coach people in salons. Um, anyway, it's kind of my author page and I'm sharing these videos and things on there as well. So um, go and have a little look over there if you're not seeing it or you can just go straight to my blog, which is louiseusher.co.uk. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to sort of shout out there that well, I'm gonna like do all the things that I keep saying I wanna do. I'm really excited about it. I'm aware that my phone is really, my camera slash phone is really wobbling about because the sun and the heat has made the sort of glue on the windscreen like melt a bit. So I'm gonna switch off. All right, see you in a bit. Video of Nana's curly hair. <laughs> curly Shirley. Oh, no, I've got a friend over there. I feel a bit like him. Hello, mate. So tired. Need to go to sleep. It's only what, two o'clock in the afternoon? Oh, I wish I could go to bed. No, no, it's no, the funniest, no, no, no. cheekiest little thing, look. Hey. 
I see he's cheeky. Harley, what are you doing? So I've had a sleep, as you can probably tell by my crazy hair. I thought I'd lost a load of footage the other day. I've uploaded video number one for the driveway and video number two, there was no footage. And I just look, because I share it between here, my laptop and my phone for editing. And it really depends on where I, I love editing on this. This is great. Obviously I need to be sat here. But just found some footage there. So I'm going to sit and do that quick edit. I'm going to meet with Scott for some coffee later. Uh, my Harley dog's, uh, you can't see he's over there. Um, I think I told you all that stuff, didn't I? So it's evening time and I'm on my way to meet my lovely Stacey. I'm not feeling quite right. I feel a little bit giddy or something. I don't know what's going on. But probably because I've been dieting quite hardcore. So I probably need to maybe eat some carbohydrates. It's not often you hear me say that. Um, but yeah, I have kept it really low and I've not had a proper meal or anything today, which is really silly. So um, I'm going to have probably a lamb shank, which is my favourite meal at this place. And they serve it with cabbage though, and if you've got Crohn's, you generally can't have cabbage. But I might risk some peas, try and have some peas, but I'm really looking forward to seeing her. I've got a little gift here, I might have told you about it, I can't remember. A little gift, and I haven't wrapped it up because I wanted to keep it like really like, you know. Anyway, but she's going to be um, her best, oh I told you this this morning, didn't I? Her best friend's matron of honour, and, uh, or maid of honour. Matron of Honor, I think it's the same thing. Um, but she's really excited, and this is a little, it's a jokey thing, really. It's a little survival kit from, from Maid of Honor. And uh, so I'm going to give her that. So she's super excited. I'd, I'd be excited too in her shoes. Fantastic. New dress and everything. So it'd be lovely to see her. And we're going to talk business as we always do because she really helps me. And she's just, she's just super. So yeah, it'll be a nice evening. I'm looking forward. Well, look, it's all dark. I've stayed out all that time. So lovely to see Stacey. And um, I just wanted to quickly finish my vlog. I did keep meaning to get the camera out while we was in there. Oh, loads of them really dark now. Sorry about that. Um, but we just chatted about business like we do and we put the world to rights. So I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for watching. And thank you for the light there, Mr. Lorry Man. I will look forward to seeing you in the morning as usual. What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, I think I'm going for breakfast with my son, which will be amazing. All right, love you all lots. Thanks for the lovely comments you're leaving me lately. I really, really appreciate you. Bye for now.